Here is my most recommended cruise line for your first time. Welcome back to Cruise News and Booze, where we have a drink and sit down and talk about all things cruise related. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my most recommended cruise line for first time cruisers. Now I get this question all the time, especially when I was a travel agent. People come in, they wanna know what cruise line is the best, which one is right for them. And there's one cruise line in particular that has stood out to me because it is so versatile and it truly has something for everyone. I feel comfortable putting almost anyone on these ships. Um, I think that there is something, whether you have kids, whether you don't have kids, whether you're younger, older, whatever experience you're looking for, I feel like this cruise line has it. So to get into it, um, I do just wanna point out that I don't have any affiliation with this. They're not paying me to say this. Um, <laughs> this is just my personal thought from years of experience, booking hundreds of cruises, from going on lots of cruises myself. This is just my personal thoughts and opinions. All right, so to get into it, my number one recommended cruise line, especially for first time cruisers, would be Royal Caribbean. Now, why do I say that? Kind of like I said, it all comes down to they have an experience for everyone. They're a very consistent cruise line, very dependable, um, and for me, it starts even before you get on the ship. Um, Royal Caribbean has one of the best websites and apps out there, as far as my opinion. Um, the app itself is so great once you book your cruise. It walks you exactly through how you're gonna do your check-in, when you get there, everything. It tells you exactly what you need to do. It really takes the guesswork out of it, especially for first-time cruisers. If you're not really sure what is this check-in process what do i do when do i get there it takes all the guesswork out of it for you and makes it really easy and simple the next thing i really enjoy about rural caribbean is that like i said before it's so versatile it's so customizable whatever experience you want for your first time cruise whatever you enjoy they have something for you um, if you're looking for a really nice, relaxing time, you can do that. If you're looking for all the excitement and thrills out there, they have something for you as well. Um, they have, um, you know, a wide variety of rooms on their ships, which I really enjoy. Um, they have anything, you know, from a basic interior room. They have virtual balconies. They have the Central Park and Boardwalk balconies. Um, if you're on the Oasis class ships, um, they have, you know, the grand suites that are really great. If you have kids, um, especially, you know, the aqua theater suites, things like that, that are really exciting if you're wanting to go all out on your cruise. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a wide variety of pricing there. Whatever your pricing is, they kind of have something for you. Um, going along with the rooms, something that I like about Royal Caribbean is they have a lot of family rooms. Um, not just the suites, but they have, you know, family interior rooms, family balcony rooms, which can fit up to six people in them. So if it's your first cruise, you're, you don't want to have to fight with worrying about, you know, adjoining rooms, things like that. You can probably save a lot of money by getting one of these, you know, spacious family rooms, if you will. Um, the next thing that... I like about them is how many ships they have. They have, you know, quite a variety of ships. They have some of their smaller ships if you're looking for a more intimate cruise experience. Um, then they have their more mid-shot size ships and then they have the large ships, which are the biggest in the world in the Oasis class. Um, and throughout these ships, they kind of have something for everyone. Like I said before, if you're wanting a relaxing experience, they have, you know, they have spas, they have adults only areas, um, you know, pools, nice things like that. If you just want, ex you know, a nice relaxing experience, but if you want to do all the thrills, they have all that for you as well. They've got the water slides, they've got zip lines, they have uh, rock climbing walls, ice skating, laser tag, pretty much anything you want, they've got that for you. 
They also have really great programs for kids and teens um, where they have programs each day that they give you, telling you what they'll have going on those days. Um, so your kids can meet other kids, have a great time while you go off and, you know, relax or do whatever you may want that day. Um, so they also have lots of different food venues. Once again, very versatile, have something for everyone. If you're looking just to eat the things that are included on their cruise, they have great food options. Um, I think they're really consistent in their food. Their main dining room food is always really good in my opinion, as well as their, you know, extras. They've got Sorrento's pizza. They've got uh, hot dogs, hamburgers. Um, they have Park Cafe, lots of different things throughout the ship to enjoy. But if you also want to go the, you know, a little bit more high end route, they have their specialty restaurants, which are always really good as well. So very customizable, as I said. Um, and really the biggest reason that I recommend Royal Caribbean is because it's a great introduction to cruising. Um, it's not the lowest tier, it's not the highest tier, it's right there in the middle, but they're very consistent and they're very good at what they do. The ships are always very well maintained, they're very clean, um, the staff is always very friendly, they never seem, you know, overworked or overstressed. As you see in some of the other cruise lines, um, they're always very willing to, you know, talk to you and make your experience great. Um, I've booked Royal Caribbean quite a lot for first time cruisers or people who've cruised quite a lot and uh, they've all had a great time. They, I've not had anyone have a, anything bad to say about their Royal Caribbean cruise, which I think is saying a lot. Um, no matter if they were in an interior room or in the <laughs> most expensive suite, they had a great experience and that's what you want for your first cruise. You don't want to have to worry, am I going to have a good time? Is the ship going to be okay? Um, you know, is it going to be well maintained? These are all things that you think about. So Royal Caribbean, in my opinion, is great for first time cruisers because they will make sure that they take care of you. You're going to have a great time. You're going to enjoy all of the many things that they have to offer. And it's going to take a lot of the worry and, you know, stress off of you by their very simple approach to things, their simple boarding process, their disembarkation. All of it's very streamlined. They've been doing this a long time. It's not, it's not chaotic or disorganized. It's just a very stress-free experience that I think is a great thing for first-time cruisers. So I do hope that this helps you make a decision on what cruise line to take for your first cruise. Uh, make sure you subscribe to see some more videos for first-time cruisers that will be coming out soon. And make sure you also follow us on Instagram because I have lots of tips and tricks over there as well. So we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.